Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This video is on introduction to economics where you will understand some basics of this subject. So first of all you should know from where the word economy has come. The word economy comes from a Greek word oikonomos which means one who manages a household. So it might look peculiar to you that why we are talking about household here. But it's a fact that households and economies have much in common. A household faces many decisions. It must allocate its resources among its various members, taking into account each member's abilities, efforts and desires. Like a household, a society faces many decisions. A society must find some way to decide what jobs will be done and who will do them. It needs some people to grow food, other people to make clothing and still others to design computer software. Once society has allocated people, land, buildings and machines to various jobs, it must allocate the output of goods and services they produce. The management of resources is important because resources are scarce. Scarcity means that society has limited resources and therefore cannot produce all the goods and services people wish to have. With scarcity comes the concept of economics. So economics is defined as a study of how society manages its scarce resources. According to Lionel Robbins, economics is the science which studies human behavior as a relationship between unlimited ends and scarce means which have alternative uses. In other words, economics is a science which studies human behavior as a relationship between unlimited wants and limited resources which have alternative uses. The subject matter of economics has been divided into two parts that is microeconomics and macroeconomics. Ragnar Frisch was the first to use the term micro and macro in 1933. The term microeconomics is derived from the Greek word micros meaning small and the term macroeconomics is derived from the Greek word macros meaning large. Thus, microeconomics is related to the study of individual economic units while macroeconomics is a study of how economy works as a whole. Now let's understand the definitions of microeconomics and macroeconomics. Microeconomics is the study of how households and firms make decisions and how they interact in specific markets. It describes the pricing of products and money, causes of different prices to different people and how individuals best coordinate and cooperate. Whereas macroeconomics is the study of aggregates or averages covering the entire economy such as total employment, the national product or income and the general price level of the economy. Therefore, macroeconomics is also known as aggregative economics. According to Professor K. E. Boulding, macroeconomics deals not with individual quantities as such, but with the aggregates of these quantities, not with individual incomes, but with the national income, not with individual prices, but with the price level, and not with individual outputs, but with the national output. So this was all about the introduction part of economics. In my next video, I'll explain 10 principles of economics. So keep watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.